Kodak made the first digital camera, has the patents for it, um, created Apple's Quick Take, but decided not to put the brand on the camera. Yep. Um, the digital photography revolution occurred and largely bypassed Kodak, and that Kodak got in its own way because it was trying to protect its film business. What's the real story of what happened there? Well, I, I, think, I think that is the story that has kind of gotten into the business cases per se. Um, and there's a lot of truth to it. Uh, you know, um, the fact is um, the charge coupler device was an important um, element of research that led to the digital camera. The first digital camera produced was by a Kodak researcher, a wonderful guy who still works very closely with Kodak today. And Kodak took that technology in many ways. It, it allowed for a lot of the exploration of space um, because of that digital technology. So we're very proud of our heritage around this. And we were able to monetize it to the tunes of billions of dollars. So it wasn't a complete swing and miss. Mm -hmm. However, we didn't become Sony, we didn't become Apple, and those are high bars. Um, and the fact is that um, Kodak had a huge business in film, and it is true that they did not go as aggressively um, as we've subsequently learned um, that when you have a great technology, if you don't disintermediate it yourself, someone else will. And I think for Kodak to be part of that learning, it may be painful for those who lived through it, but the fact is it is part of our legacy and we won't make that mistake again.